Let's take a look at these area questions. They're a mixture of uh, calculator and non-calculator. Uh, question one is non-calculator. So we're finding the area of a square. Or well, squares have side lengths that are the same. So this side length is going to be five as well. So it's five times five, which is 25. And the unit for area will be centimeter squared. Here it's going to be two times two, which is four centimeter squared or four squared centimeters. Here is eight times eight, so 64 square centimeters. Question two is also non-calculator. So the square below is one hectare in area. Um, so if one hectare is this square, that's gonna be a 100 times by 100. And 100 times by 100 is 100 with two more zeros put on the end. So one hectare is 10,000 square meters. I didn't know that. Uh, how many hectares are in this square? Now, you're, they're tricking you here because they, they're wanting you to say that there are two. Uh, but remember, a hectare is 100 by 100. So 100 by 100 there is one hectare there. So there's another hectare. So in total, there are going to be four hectares. What you could do is 200 times by 200. That comes to... Um, 40,000 and that is four times greater than 10,000 meters squared so again you can see that it's four hectares not two. We want the area of these rectangles so well, that's nice and easy four times three which is 12 square centimeters 45 square centimeters nine times five 40 times 26 we can use a calculator here which is good so just type it in and you'll get 1,040 square centimeters Question four, this is a calculator question. So uh, we've, been to we've been told that a sheet needs 25 meters squared. So in total here, there are 600 square meters. So how many 25s go into 600? Or well, 600 divided by 25, that works out as 24 sheep. This field here has an area of 40 times by 26, which is 1,040 square meters. So if we're dividing 1,040 by the 25 square meters representing what one sheep needs, then we can work out that this uh, farmer can fit in 41.6 sheep, but he can't have 0.6 of a sheep. So that can therefore only be 41. Notice here that we're rounding down to 41. 41.6 um, is closer to 42 than 41, but if he goes for 42 sheep, then he's exceeded the 25 square meters. Not by much, but he has exceeded it nonetheless. Question five is a calculator question as well. So we want to split this uh, rectangle in this shape into two rectangles. So I would probably, well, there's two ways you can split it. You can either split it horizontally or vertically as well. And the whole reason you're splitting it is so that you can work out the area of rectangle A and rectangle B. So rectangle A is simply five times 18 and B is three times by 25, which is 75 and five times 18, um, that comes to 90. So 90 plus, 100, uh, plus 75 comes to 165 square centimeters. For question number six, the area of the compound shapes again. So split it into two rectangles. So five times seven is 35. Um, here we've got a two by, we don't know this dimension here, but if it's nine across the bottom and five from here to here, then this must be four. Two fours are eight. So 35 plus eight, which is 43 um, square centimeters. Here we've got 10 times 10, which is 100. And here we've got seven by, well, if it's 14 across the top and 10 from here to here, then this must be four. So seven fours are 28. So that is a total of 128 millimeters squared. For C, seven times 12, that is um, 84. And here we've got an 11 by, we're not sure, but we know it's nine from here to here and 12 from here to here. So this must be three. 11 threes are 33 and 33 plus 84 comes to 117 square centimeters. Question number seven. So what I'm gonna do is turn them into two rectangles here. So this one here is a three times by five, which is 15. And this is 23 times by 25 which is 575. So add these together, comes to 590 square centimeters. 
With 7b, probably what I would do here is split it into two rectangles here. So we've got a 12 by 15, which is 180. And here we've got a 5 by, well, we know this is 12, this is 3, this is 3. So from top to bottom, it's 3 plus 3 plus 12. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this has an area of 5 times 18, which is uh, 90. And 90 plus 180 is 270 square centimetres. For C, uh, if I just do a little line here, I've now got a square 6 by 6. So that's a 36. This is an 18 times 12, which is 216. So therefore, the overall area is these two numbers added together, which comes to 252 square metres. Question number eight. Um, so we want to find the area of the watch face. Now we've told the it's a square watch face, so it's two by two. So two times two is four square centimetres. The area of the strap is one times three, which is three, and another one times by three here, so another three. So that is six square centimetres. Um, so replacing the watch strap cost 2.99 per square centimeter. So how much change would someone get from a 20 pound note? So if it's uh, 2.99 per square centimeter, then uh, we've got six square centimeters. So six times 2.99, we're not allowed to use a calculator for this question, which is a, a little bit of a blow. So I'm gonna 299 times by, uh, by six. Uh, I've just put it into pence, 9, 6 is a 54, 4 carry 5, 9, 6 is a 54, 54 plus 5 is 59, carry the 5, 2, 6 is a 12, plus 5 is um, 17, so it's 1,794p, um, otherwise known as £17.94. So if you pay with £20, what change do you get? Well, let's work our way up from 17.94 to 20. So that 6p will take us to 18 pounds, and then another two pounds will take us to 20 pounds, so two pounds and 6p. And the final question, question nine, this is a calculator question. The square part um, is 15 millimeters by 15 millimeters, so 15 times 15 is 225 square millimeters. One rectangular part is eight times two, which is 16 square millimeters. So the area of the whole toy is 16 plus 16 plus 16, 48, 48 plus 225. Again, you're gonna use a calculator, which is much easier. And that comes to a total of 273 square millimeters.